Yeah. And with that time, we got work to do. We're gonna do this shotgun style. Everything else is kind of dirty, you know, so. Hey, ha, ha, shotgun style, let's go. All right, so hey, we're gonna cook this beef stew, man. We might as well get it in, you know? Woo, boy. Okay, let's get to work. All right, so what we have here is two pounds of stew meat ready to go. And we have soy sauce, W sauce, garlic powder, onion powder, said that backwards, that's onion powder, that's garlic powder. This right here, my friends, is Cajun seasoning. This is Tony Saturies, but you can use whatever you like. Also, pro tip, beefy onion. This is uh, extra flavor. It's gonna be really good with this, okay? We just pour that powder in there, in the, uh, the juices, okay? So we have three stalks of celery, we have three whole carrots, not baby carrots, folks, no baby carrots today, five potatoes, and then I started cutting this dang onion, and I, I forgot, totally forgot that my daughter does not like onion. So I sneak it in with the green onion and the onion powder. So that's what we'll be doing, and of course two bay leaves. And here we have four cups of beef broth. We're not gonna use any water, so we need extra beef broth, four cups total. Now, what we're gonna do is go ahead and add these dry ingredients to the meat, the wet ingredients, and then we're gonna get to cooking low and slow for eight hours. Boom, in goes the uh, soy. W sauce, onion powder, we like onion powder man, we like that stuff right, the good old garlic powder, now we could use whole garlic or you know something like minced garlic but the garlic powder will do, then we're gonna go with the saturies, alright now we're gonna put this in here about half, and then we're gonna turn this stuff around about half of it. Then we're gonna turn this over, get it nice and mixed, and we're gonna put in the other half. Now you think this is a lot of seasoning and stuff. It is, but it's all about flavor, folks. Let me tell you, this is gonna be so flavorful. If we're not gonna braise the meat first, then you know we need to put flavor in there. Now, braising the meat is a wonderful idea, but we're not gonna braise today. We're just gonna do straight slow cooker. I just kinda wanted to show people that you can make great beef stew without having to braise it first. And some people don't even have, you know, the proper kitchen to, to braise beef. Uh, you know, be it a stove with a uh, frying pan and stuff like that. I've actually seen people that live in places like New York that don't even have proper kitchens in their apartments. How, how is that an apartment? I, I don't know, but uh, yeah, that's just the way it goes. So let's go ahead and Add the rest of the saturies in here. Tony Saturies Occasion Seasoning. And we're just gonna keep mixing until we have all this mixed up. Yummy, yummy, yummy to my tummy. <laughs> okay, so that's what we have. All right, now we can go ahead and start throwing all this stuff in your slow cooker or crock pot or instant pot, whatever you want to do. You can do all of those things. Any one of those machineries will work. So let's go ahead and get this stuff going. Meat, carrots, potatoes, green onion, and the bay leaf. Now we take our beefy onion, salt, pepper, top, low. All right, so we're about halfway done. This is what we see looking pretty good. When you're slow cooking, never take the top off. So we're not gonna take the top off and stir or do anything like that. It's nice and hot. We take the top off and stir it, then we're gonna lose some time. We don't wanna lose time. The vegetables and everything will cook just fine. The meat on the bottom needs the time. So we're just gonna leave it and let it roll, right? Mm -hmm. That's Victor, he's kind of a weirdo. Beef stew is done. We did stir it once. I say we because I started this video by myself. Now the guy is here. So he always does this weird thing with his eyes when you put the camera on him, I don't know what it is. All right, so we pulled this piece of meat out here just for him to try it. And it is nice and soft. So give it to the guy. 
and let him try it. What you think? Really good. Good? Nice and soft? Mm -hmm. Okay. Try another. This one might be a little hot because it's bigger. Good? Okay. It's good. So this is what our beef stew looks like. And it is really yummy. Really yummy. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put a bowl and give the guy some so he can eat. And we have some sea salt pita crackers for that. Now this is what the guy is going to eat. His name is Victor, but he's all, don't touch it. It's hot on the bottom, but this is nice. Look at that. Look at that. What do you think? Is it, it good? Really good? Looks good. Yeah, it's going to taste good too. Ah, it's really hot. I need to put it down. All right, so this is what our beef stew looks like. I'm going to make me a bowl for myself and then our young daughter is sleeping. So I don't know. So maybe she'll eat some later. Woo yeah, look at that. It's got the pita crackers around there. It just looks great. Okay, so let me try here. Let me go ahead and get a piece of this. This beef came out wonderful. Look at that. Look how soft it is. Ooh, look at that beef. Man, okay, look at it. Ah, making my mouth water. <laughs> All right, it's probably really hot. I'm probably gonna burn myself to death. But we're gonna do it anyway. Right? You ready? Cheers. Nice and soft. Primo. Fantastic. Delicious. And you know what's funny about that? Is there are people that will say when you use stew meat that you don't get great beef stew from stew meat? I say if you don't get great beef stew from stew meat, you're probably not doing it right. Sorry, don't know what to say. It's gonna break down if you cook it long enough. I mean, it's just, it's great. So, hey, I'm gonna see you guys on the next one, but hold on. All right, what do you think, my guy? It's really good. I need a review, you think it's good? Really good? You cook it? Yeah? Okay, so what's your favorite part? The beef. The beef. Beef, beef, ladies and gentlemen. It's what's for dinner. See you. Bye. Oh, she woke up. What do you think, baby girls? Good. Mm -hmm. Tasty. Mm -hmm. Super tasty, huh? Is the beef nice and tender mm -hmm. and juicy, flavorful? Mm -hmm. Is the soup flavorful too?